Well, it's Friday, everyone. So, it's kind of a glorious morning. Kind of not a whole lot to be unhappy about. The weather's beautiful. And we're talking fifth scale today. So, here we have Project Mag Mad Max, which, you know, that's pretty obvious. But, um, a few things I'd like to update everybody on. Uh, you have to excuse the, the birds are kind of really happy today, so. Anyway, um, front diff is fixed. Uh, put True Losi gears in it. Um, it's a much better condition than it was when I first started the reassemble. I just noticed I got a screw that's kind of backed out right there, so I have to put that back. But anyway, um, got low C gears in the front. I've got the MIP um, differential upgrade kit, which basically includes aluminum, um, the aluminum X shafts, if you want to call them that um, that your gears your spider gears sit on um, and then it's got some hardened washers that sit on your uh, in between the actual ring gear and and the sun gear on the inside and the diff housing and the sun gear on the other side of the, the diff. It's got some hardened washers and then it's got some other uh, the spacers in between the diff housing and the spider gears uh, are machined such that you don't have to have the um, uh, the little spacers um, that come with the, the, the gear set. Um, you don't have to have the shims um, they're they're machined that you don't need them anymore, and they're hardened so and they're about 30% lighter than the original steel parts, so that's that's a plus. Um, one thing that I did do is I pulled the spool out went with a diff in the back, so I still don't have the dog bones replaced yet. I've got a friend that is machining me a tool to uh, replace the dog bone pins um, that you see um, or at least try to uh, on on these dog bones that that come um, with the pressed in pins so um, he's currently got one of the dog bones working on machining a tool for that and if all goes well and I like the design and whatnot, we might be selling them. So um, we'll just see. But, um, you know, it might be a one off deal or it might be more than a one off deal. We don't know. But, anywho, um, so went with the diff. As you can see, it's not a solid spool, not a solid locker anymore. Still kept the, the locker in the center section. You know, I don't mind mind that part of it. Um, went with 3,000 weight diff fluid in the back, 7,000 weight diff fluid in the front, um, and we will see how that how that performs. I'm pretty sure it's going to perform very well, um, but you know, we'll just have to see few things that I am going to upgrade, I'm going to be putting the Team Chase drag link on this, um, probably in the near future, probably going to go with the 7075RC front and rear diff housings um, from them, uh, just for the simple fact I don't like the plastic stripping out on the screws. Um, I, I just, it's, I think you have 
much tighter tolerances with with the aluminum stuff than you do uh, this plastic and it's not a critical suspension part I mean it is because it keeps everything aligned but um, you know you're talking 0.6 six tenths of a pound heavier than the original plastic part so it's not that much heavier but you know whatever uh, other than that it's pretty much the same um, telemetry seems to be working um, still gotta mount it find a spot to mount my my rpm sensor it's kind of hard to see right there that's my rpm sensor it works but trying to get a spot back on the motor mount or on the motor itself um, it's proven to be a little bit tricky um, other than that it's just business as usual um, so yep anyway again happy Friday it's about the weekend and looks like I'm not gonna be able to run this this weekend again which is alright um, because that's just sometimes that's the way it goes but anyway everybody have a blessed day blessed weekend and we will catch you all later peace